Hey, what is up, everybody? Blades for here and today for you in the video of Black Clover Mobile inside today's video, guys. We're gonna be talking about pretty much the whole news of the dual banners, starting off with Licked and Raya. Now, in this video, guys, I'm gonna be explaining to you guys what they do, pretty much, and um, pretty much everything just about them, really. This is not the whole should you summon type of deal. We're gonna do that in a whole different video. I'm gonna mainly be going over them here, letting you guys know exactly what they do and um how they really can react inside of pvp seeing i've played jp and kr as well so yeah we'll have some interesting inputs on that but of course before we get into the video i gotta say thank you guys for all the support here if we go ahead and take a look at the channel here it's doing very freaking well you guys have been doing amazing on all my stuff here you seem to like my despair two days ago but um we're doing actually good we've been keeping up with a nice flow we so far are on the three-day streak which is kind of nice um, we're going to make that, of course, a four day today. And um, I actually have a double upload for you guys. So if we can get this video to actually pretty do pretty well, pretty easily, pretty early. Um, the second one should be coming up around five o'clock EST or six o'clock EST. So, of course, look out for that. It's going to be a PvP video. It's going to be awesome. But um, let's dive straight into the video. As of this day, we're going to be going over Licked and Riot here with a lot of different things. I'm currently farming on my main account, so I've said, you know what, let's go ahead and go over some characters that I know these guys are going to want to know about. So if we go ahead and take a look at pridewin.gg, which is a site that you guys can go to at any time to look for different little character stats, skill pages, tier lists, things like that, you name it. This site has it all. Pretty much we're going to be looking at Licked first here and letting you know exactly what this, what this man can do. Now, Licked is one of those characters that is good in PvP and PvE, as you guys can tell by his S ranking here. He actually came out storming pretty dang hard on JP, seeing that a lot of people saw different leaks and stuff like that, and we were actually astonished with this man's help. He is amazing when it comes down to taking down people with his single target here, which would be his skill two, and his skill one also does an amazing thing as well. But alongside that, this man actually has a invulnerability or invincibility type of deal too as well, where if you do kill him, he doesn't really go down. He's actually immortal for one whole turn. And that's if you get him down to like 30% HP, as it says right here with his unique passive. And this is something that you get off that. So it's not like something you got to work to or something like that. Once he hits LR, he gets this immediately, which is absolutely amazing. Now, this character hits absolutely hard. He does a lot of things that you want. And he is a crit master here. So if you want him to do the most on everything he needs here, you need to make this man crit to death. Now, okay, if we go ahead and look at his five star level 100 here. When you look at his crit rate, his crit rate is around 34% and his crit damage is 72%. Crit damage is really, really high. So what you really want to do with this character is definitely have a lot of crit on him and he will show numbers like none other. With this character here, you're able to do a bunch of things here by applying crit rate to yourself as well and upping everything that he does need. Um, I usually use this character a lot inside of at least, I wanna say it was the Golem when it was out um, phase one, because I think phase one is blue and then phase two is up on right, red or I think it's red. It's either red or green. I think it was red though. And um, in which so for the first phase, of course, he was knocking things out. Pretty much you always wanna start with the uh, little whip attack when it comes to like different PVE things. And then you want to go ahead and use your ult. Ult usually isn't too much too good for that, but of course he is pretty dang decent. Now for his skill two here, which is very interesting, um, he has increased crit rate as well, um, which is very, very nice here. He also can have some defense here. And with the actual little card of his, he actually can do some buff blocking. This character overall is absolutely amazing, especially for a green character. Being our first green actual DPS character too, he was really, really good at his time. Alongside this, he has a special skill that is absolutely amazing with some increased crit rate here that can actually get 10% on everything every time here, which is actually nice. Alongside this, he has his combo attack, which does some increased damage as well. And when paired with Raya, which is the next character we're going to be talking about right after this, um, he actually does some decent things here. This is probably something you're going to be using a lot more. See, he can ignore defense pin rate, which is absolutely amazing by ignoring the target's defense. And it is an AoE um, ultimate. Now, this character is something that we end up seeing a little bit in tower. If you guys haven't gotten that up that high in tower yet, which I don't think many people have because I don't think people are spending like that just yet or either at that point, um, pretty much for floor 80. Or I think it was something around that time. I think it was floor 80 first, um, the first time around. 
he is pretty strong. That was the first time that we actually got to see his skills, and the man comes out swinging pretty dang hard. Go ahead and check out their tier list, too. He is doing dang well. Like, okay, like, you don't see him as much anymore in the long-term meta as much, but he is usable. Now, seeing that he is the green unit, and so far right now is a blue unit meta here, um, he's going to come in handy with taking down a lot of enemies very, very quickly at first, but he'll slowly fizzle out as the updates come along. Now, does he still stand tall inside of PvE and PvP? Yes, he freaking does, including his next person here, which is Raya, that we're going to be going over. And um, we'll get into Veto and Fauna into a whole different video here. But if we go ahead and check out Raya here as well, Raya is one of the second um, crazy DPSs for at least Greens. Now, he's able to steal different buffs and stuff like that from the enemy. The more um, different buffs that the enemy does have, he pretty much copies them, takes them for his own, and it pretty much makes him a nuker all around. Now, with this man, he does additionals too. His attacks are pretty much like Red Yami's, but even stronger. So pretty much the more buffs your enemy has, the better it's going to be for Uriah, because if anything, he's going to take those bad boys and make himself actually strong. Now, with his signature skill page here, Instead of being able to just copy the enemy's buffs, he's able to remove them from their enemy as well. So that's actually amazing with skill two being um actually a nice, nice little single target hit. Now this only goes from one enemy instead of two or three like that, so it's perfectly fine, but it's actually amazing. Now with this here, you also have his ultimate here, which um in fact removes, or like if you have two more at the buffs performs an additional attack here and actually gives him increased damage giving him that nice nuking power but what you're really going to be using this character for just like we said with licked is for his united attack and the combo chain here reason being for this because it increases everyone's attack here and then also copies a buff of the partner from our partner here allowing you to do a ton of damage which increases literally your attack and magic attack by 40 percent this character is actually freaking cracked and is one of the few characters that like, I'm kind of sad to see that he faded out just a little bit, but he definitely made his mark on the meta. Now, he's going to be very, very useful. So if you guys do something for him, he's going to be absolutely amazing here, of course. But he has a passive that gains 2.5% increased damage after a buff effect ends up to three stacks. And then his unique passive here recovers 15% max HP when a buff effect affecting your yourself ends. Now, this will trigger once per wave, so once a time, mainly for a PvE type of passive here. And that's actually really, really nice. Now, this character is fully on crit damage as well, and mainly an attacker, or at least a physical attacker. So what you would like to do is make sure you get this man up some crit rate and stuff like that. But we're really going to break down this character and the sets you want to run here, of course, in a whole different video. Now, for this video, as I did say, I was mainly just going over their things here, what they have. So we're also going to look at their skill pages, both of them being very, very nice for their characters here, and what you would end up getting the Lick skill page, when I can actually see it, here it is. Lick skill page here, which applies seven uh, through 15% increased damage and 7% increased crit rate to yourself. While the other one here allows you to actually, uh, at the start of the turn, if there is three um, buffs, at least three buffs affecting you, you're able to gain 30 through 62% increased accuracy for one turn. And which as all of us, as we do know, means that they can't block that hit pretty much. It makes it harder for them to block it seeing the more accuracy we'll have. Both of these are absolutely amazing units at the end of the day. They're gonna be actually crazy. I'm gonna actually do a video on should you summon for all of these guys in a whole separate video, of course, later on. But this was just me telling you guys what to expect. They're gonna be some heavy hitting characters. They're gonna be absolutely amazing at the end of the day. And I feel like you guys are gonna enjoy having them um, if you are gonna be summoning. Now, do remember, of course, these characters will kind of slowly fade, but they always will make their mark inside of PvP in long term as well as PvE. So on your end, do what you like there, but we'll see what we can do. So till next time, everybody, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that like button with your forehead. Consider subscribing if you are new. I'm doing back Black Clover daily videos. So we're going to get into it here. And I come back and my guys getting kind of mixed. I don't like that. So uh, we're going to see what's going to happen with that. But... Till next time, everybody. Talk to you later. Peace out.